now to bring up our honorary, our first honorary for the evening. Dil would not be a leading education in NGO in Pakistan without the help and support of many, many wonderful people. Jamila Fakhri stands out amongst them for a consistent dedication and commitment to Dil over the last 13 years. Not only is she a founding member of Dil USA, but she's also played a pivotal role in establishing Dil Trust UK and sits on their board of trustees. She continues to devote her time and energy to strengthen Dil year after year. Her sons, Adam and Talib Fakhri, have served actively in various capacities on the Dil and Your Dil boards and have given generously of their time and talents. She has truly instilled in them the right values through her example. Her daughter-in-law, Maliha, too, has done her share by establishing the LA Yordil chapter, serving as its first president. I now call upon Jamila to receive her award. Philanthropy is very important to Begum Adaya. It has been a hallmark of her life. Early in her life, she was able to see her family establish orphanages and schools in India and Pakistan. She followed their example and brought that philanthropic spirit with her wherever she went. Begum Adaya, along with her late husband, Ahmed Adaya, founded the Al Amin Foundation, which supports schools, hospitals, shelters, and foster care to under underprivileged and disenfranchised people in the United States and across the globe. It is very important to Begum Adaya that all children be given a good education, allowing them to have an equal opportunity to succeed in life. Begum Adaya and her late husband, Ahmed Adaya, have been ardent supporters of education, hospitals, and art programs throughout the United States for over 25 years. Causes they've sent their support to include Niswa, Dil, the Islamic Center of Southern California, MPAC, the New Horizon School System, Pacific Asia Museum, Citizens Foundation, COPA, Urdu Marcas, LACMA, UCLA Medical Center, and the St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital Center and Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons, where there's a fellowship named in his honor. Begum Adaya is a very kind, generous, compassionate, loving, and spiritual person who is also an amazing mother, a tremendous grandmother, and great-grandmother. She was the most supportive, caring, and nurturing wife to her late husband, Ahmed Adaya. She wants to see peace, harmony, and love within her family and all over the world. Developments in literacy thank Begum Adaya for, support, for her support for the past 13 years in its mission to educate children in Pakistan. And now I'd like to invite my parents, Mr. Kasar Madad and Dr. Meher Tabatabai, to present Begum Adaya with her award. Good afternoon and assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for Dil again. It's time for giving. It's time for sharing. It's time for caring. This year, the children of Dil need you more because their schools have been destroyed by floods and burnt by acts of terrorism, but we cannot be disheartened or lose sight of the future. Remember, the children of, are the future. They are our hope. They are the future of Pakistan. It is only through education that we can hope for change in Pakistan. And Dil schools are providing well-rounded educations to the underprivileged children of Pakistan, especially girls. And my family is made up of mainly girls. And you saw one of the girls at the podium today. You kept pointing towards her. Girls are very dear to my heart. Girls' education is very important to me. Remember, as has been said many times before, when you educate a boy, you educate an individual. When you educate a girl, you educate a family. When you educate families, you educate a nation. I know we all have given a lot this year, but this is, I believe, the most important cause because we are investing in our future. So please, once again, I appeal to you to give from your hearts. Give whatever you can. 
nothing is too small. Give, it, give whatever amount you can. It will mean a lot to a child in Pakistan. I want to congratulate and commend the ladies of Dil for their hard work. In the words of Khalid Gibran, those who give of themselves truly give, and these ladies truly give. They are the role models of our community. So those of us who give of money are really not the ones who are giving. Those who give of themselves are the true givers. Uh, I'm really honored and moved and inspired by what I have seen today. I'm new to this uh, city, I'm new to this country, but I, every day is a new experience for me because I see how much devotion, how much love and how much attachment my Pakistani Americans who have left their homes and made America their new home, they still have with their homeland, with Pakistan. And what more than what I have witnessed this afternoon, Dil is a truly inspirational story. Dil is a movement which I hope and pray will last forever and ever. I want to applaud, I want to thank the powerful women who are leading Dil, Parveen, Jamila, Fiza, Maryam, all the, all the people who are working for Dil, let's applaud them. I just like to welcome every one of you to. It's a very special evening tonight, especially in a way that we are here to help poor people of Pakistan, our brothers and sisters. They really need help. This is a very special community, a community which is very generous, large-hearted, and most importantly, have a great love for their homeland, Pakistan. And I will, um, well, because we have some friends here who may not understand Urdu, I'll, I'll speak in English. In fact, tonight is a reflection of not only the love that you have for Pakistan, but the generosity of your hearts, how you reach out to humanity, humanity which is suffering, suffering from a devastating flood that we all hear about, read about, and see on television. Pakistan. 